Alright, so what we got here is a FPGA based battleship game running on uh, two NTSC television screens. So the so so that that means that that every, each of you have your own view of the world, right? Correct. Okay. Um, so we basically created a little uh, NTSC generator on the FPGA that can run through the uh, high-speed uh, digital analog converter on the uh, VGA line, and so this VGA line is just broken out to two NTSC television connectors, and it goes right to these TVs. Um, the way we've got it working, we've got full colors, 15 available hues, 128 available saturations, 512 available intensities. Um, it's obviously not a full uh, scale since we've only got the 15 hues, but we've got plenty of colors for basically anything that you want to be able to do with these screens. For any sort, certainly any sort of game. Absolutely. Right, okay. So the way that the battleship code works is we implemented a NIOS 2 soft processor on the DE2 board. And on this NIOS 2, we have uh, the C code that runs our battleship game. So it, it runs just like the classic battleship game where you have a, where each player has a lane 2, 2 lane 3, a lane 4, and a lane 5 ship. And in the beginning of the game, you can see over here is each player has their own controller. And both controllers are connected to the GPIO pins on the board. So we actually have a hardware debound scheme that every time we press any of the buttons on the controller, uh, they go through the GPIO pins, debounce in hardware on the board, and get sent as inputs to the NIOS. You can see, if you look over here, that we have error checking that doesn't let any of the ships go past the boundaries. In addition, we also have error checking for the rotate function. So let's say I was trying to rotate while I was in the bottom row, and it would go from right to down. It also won't let me do that. And, and so this is a lot of code. It actually was just under 8,000 lines of code. It was about 7,800 lines of code. Wow! So we were not expecting it to be that uh, in-depth, <laughs> but to be honest, most of the code was uh, a lot of error checking for these boundary conditions. Right. As well as, after you enter a ship, you can see that, first of all, just to, to re uh, reiterate, the yellow cell is the current cell, and then the gray cells are trailing cells. So you can see as it rotates clockwise, it rotates around this current cell. Mm -hmm. So. If I was to try and put a ship over another ship, each one of the, the cells that it goes over turns red to indicate that this would be an illegal game action. Mm -hmm. If I actually try and enter the ship over this, over this cell, which would be an illegal game action, it actually won't let me do it and it will continue execution of the game. So no, nothing happens. So nothing happens. You can't do it. Right. So the, the, uh, the, first, the first observation is the video is quite stable. It's a, it's a very nice looking raster. We actually have very little flickering, uh, almost, well, absolutely no artifacts, and the updating of all the cells and the colors is very smooth. It's almost instant, at least to the human eye. Right, so the, and the, to reiterate, the NTSC is in hardware. The NTSC generation is in hardware. The gameplay is in is, is software, all in software running on the, the NIOS 2. But the, but the button interface and debouncing is all hardware outside the uh, NIOS 2. Yes, that's okay. correct. Very cool. So now this goes to the different game view where player 1 is currently entering a strike and I as player 2 can see all of the shifts that I've placed. So if he enters a strike onto the board in, the cor in that coordinate, you can see how it turns green on both of our screens to show me where he struck and to show him whether or not it was a hit or a miss. Mm -hmm. So now, just to show a hit, you can see this cell is going to be a hit for his length 5 ship, so I press that and it turns red to indicate that it right. was a hit. Now every time that it reloads, it shows him the previous locations of where he had a hit or a miss, uh -huh. and that way, if he tries to go over that cell and press select, it will continue game execution to show that it's an invalid game action. Mm -hmm. And so, and again, in normal play, you wouldn't both be looking at both screens. Yes, you'd, that's correct. You'd be, so you have some sneakiness capabilities here. Yeah, okay. I agree. <laughs> cool. Very cool. And that's our Battleship game. Thank you.